guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel thank you so much guys i really do appreciate um all of my subscribers i do do so so much today i'm gonna be showing you how to draft yeah how to draft a bodycon gown that's what i'm gonna be teaching you this bodycon gown you could actually make it with um a scuba fabric you could make it with uh, a crepe fabric it's not gonna be a breast um tube but it's just still going to fit perfectly well so i'm going to be you could see the picture up there and then with the beautiful sleeve so i'm going to be doing this uh, illustration this um draft illustration so that's that so if you find this video helpful please like the video if you have not subscribed subscribe if you are new and then hit on the notification bell just beside to get up the whenever i upload a new video so let's go and let's get started so i have uh, some basic lines here already on my pattern paper so the first line i have here this is the shoulder line so for beginners you leave half an inch on top which you're going to use uh, for the stitching for this kind of gown you don't need um, if you are making use of a scuba fabric, you could decide to put a dart, you could decide not to put a dart because the fabric is stretchy. So it stretches, that's why it's called the body con. It stretches. You reduce the size for and it then stretches and catches the body. So that's just the essence. So the other line that I have here is the waistline. I'm sorry, it's the bust line, which is from the shoulder, is 10 inches. And then the other one that I have, the next one is the under bust line, which is 13. And then I have the, the waist line here, which is 16 inches. Then I have the hip line. You use 8 inches from the, from the, from the waist line. Use 8 inches, between 8 and 9 inches for you to get the hip line. So this enables you to fit, fix your, your hip measurement here and it works perfectly well. That is from your waist measurement like this. You measure nine inches from here. You measure nine inches up to this point. So when you insert your hip measurement in between that nine inches, that's from your waist and the nine inches, the middle, it sits perfectly well. I'm just doing this for the sake of beginners so they understand. Because if you mix it, the hip might be up or it might be down. So that's just the essence. So now go straight to the to the dress. And this dress is a floating shoulder. You could see it is a floating shoulder. As in the, the 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 neckline is cut towards one side so i'll just do all that in this video so the first thing i will measure for this kind of dress making this kind of body con um, floating shoulder dress all you have to do is measure the the shoulder measurement and you divide the shoulder into two so for this i have 17 inches which is for my shoulder I have 14 inches, sorry, which is 7. So this is 7 inches. And then I'll add 1 inch as the allowance. So this is the 1 inch allowance. So from those uh, 1 inch allowance, I'll come down by 9 inches. So for the sake of this, I'll just make use of 8 inches. Since it is a draft. So I'm just going to be making a line from this point to this point. So this is my 8 inches for my armhole line so i'll make it like this so the next thing i'm going to do now so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to to cut out uh, my armhole sorry i'll measure out the armhole so i'll come to it for the neckline i'm going to be slanting the shoulder later on because of the the type of um, because of the neck the floating neck line that i'm going to be making so i'm not doing any shoulder slant here now i'll do that later so i'll come to the midpoint so i'll just take my pattern curve like this So the next thing I'll measure out now, measure the measure out the bust line. 
So I'm, I'm drafting this on the back and the front together because it does not have a zipper. Like I told you, it's good for you to use like a scuba or a, a crepe fabric that is stretchy. So it does not have a zipper at the back. So the bust is on 36 inches. When you divide 36 into 4, you have 9 inches. So this is 9 inches. And then I'll add um, 1 inch allowance to it. So the next thing I'm going to do now... I'm just going to make a slant from this point down here. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll measure the waist uh, line, which is this point. I'll measure the waist line. So for the waist line, the measurement that I have for the the, the waist line is um eight inches. Eight that's thirty two inches. So the next measurement I'm going to measure now. I'm going to measure out the under bust line, which is this line. So the under bust, I'm using 8 inches, which is 32 inches. So this is um, my 8 inches. When you divide 32 into 4, and then I'll add 1 inch allowance to it. So I'm just going to, the, the waist measurement, the waist measurement also is 32 inches, which is 8. So for the waist line part, I'll add one and half inch to it as the allowance. So this is the allowance. So I'm just going to, to draft it down for you in order for you to see it. Just keep seeing it before. So I'm just going to blend it a little bit. So this is up to the waistline. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the hip measurement. And the hip measurement is 36 inches. So when you divide 36 into 4, you have 9 inches. So this is like my 9 inches. And then I'll add 1 inch to it. So this is what I have. So I'm just going to be blending it a bit because this is a hip. So you come down, like if you watch most of my videos for the hip parts, in order to elongate it a bit, you come down by just on between one to two inches just to get your curve out firmly. So the next thing you will do now you measure the down part of your dress like i said since it is a body con the down is meant to be very slim so i'm just going to do this now i use um seven inches which is 28 inches for the down part and then i'll add just uh one and half inch allowance to it so i'll take my ruler and just check to see so you can see what i have so you can see the shape of the of the body con gown so the next thing i'll do now cut it out and uh, there's something i forgot to tell you since if you are making use of a normal regular fabric for this you could decide to put a zipper at the back but if you are making use of a stretchy fabric like a scuba or a crepe material, you don't have to put a zipper and then all of your measurements, you have to reduce them by one inch. That's if your hip measurement is 40 inches, you reduce it to 39 inches. So to enable it to sit properly on your body because it stretches, so the body, the, the fabric will stretch into your, your body will stretch out the fabric. So that's just the essence. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now for the, for the neckline, I'm just going to be opening it up. So for the neckline, um, in cutting out the float, this floating uh, shoulder neckline, what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be using, if you look at the picture again on the screen, you see that the neckline is not um, like the regular symmetric neckline that is a little bit wider, or the, the shoulder, floating shoulder neckline that is wide is a little bit closed. So I'm going to be making use of three, 0.5 inches or 3 inches so that's what I'm just going to be making use of so I'll make use of 3.5 you could make use of 3 inches so this is the neckline this is 3 inches so I'm just going to be putting a notch so this is my 3.5 uh, inches neck uh, line so the next thing I'm going to be doing I'm going to be taking it from this point and then I'm going to be slanting it to my armhole line I'm going to be slanting it to my armhole line and then I'm going to be measure from measuring from my chest line. I'll measure two inches upward from my chest line. So this is um, 
for my I'm sorry for my bust line this is two inches upward because you don't want it you don't want it to get to the to the chest and to the uh, bust line because if it gets to the bust line it will become too deep so it's going to be coming it's just going to be slanting from this point like this that was why I was telling you to make use of um, 3.5 inches if you make use of 3 inches it might be very close but if you want it a little bit out you make use of um, 3.5 inches and then it's, it's slanting down to the armhole area so from this point from this middle point that you're going to determine how wide how deep you actually want it to be so i'm just going to be doing that now so the next thing i'm going to be doing now for the neckline so like i you could actually measure to know how deep you want it to be you could measure so for this i'm going to be making use of six inches and then i'm going to be splitting um, i'm going to be taking it to the two inches on this point so this is like my six inches you could decide to use five or five and a half so it depends on what you want so it's just going to be coming like this i'm just going to be using dotted lines to indicate it for you in order for you to know so this is to the two inch point if you actually want it to be deeper you could decide to to take it down more that is if you want it to be deeper you could decide to take it down what I'm going to be leaving is, is, I think, it's better for it not to be very deep. So, like, you could see it here. So, I'm just going to be using uh, my curve now and be making out a very nice curve. So, at the end of the day, so you can see what I have here. So, I'm just going to cut it out first. Like I said, I'll cut it out first before I cut out the second one. But you could decide to put both of them together and then cut out like this but i advise you cut it out separately so i'm taking it now to the to my 3.5 um, mark that i made so you can see what i have you can see what i have in order not to miss it so i'll take uh, the back part of my I'll take the back piece and then I'll place it like this. You turn it upside down. You turn it upside down. It's better for you to do it that way so you don't run into any problem. And then you stitch this point. You tape it up. And then you trace the other neckline out properly. So you can see, guys. And then the other part of your shoulder. And then the other part of your shoulder so you can now do your shoulder slant on this side so you take um your tape and then you measure out your one inch or you could decide to use half an inch so you just measure out your one inch like this and then you, you slant it to this neckline point like this in order for you to have your shoulder slant on this part so i'll cut it out now So now I'm just going to stitch on the shoulder line together. So you can see what I have now. So you could decide to turn it wherever. You could decide to use any parts of your choice for the back and the front piece. So this is uh, the dress. So if you want to insert that on it, if you are not making use of um, a stretchy fabric, so I'm going to be measuring now for my dart, for the dart line. So for the dart, from the under bust line, so um, from the middle line, this is the center front. So I'll take uh, my four, your, uh, my regular uh, bust and span measurement, which is four inches. So this is four inches, four inches for bust span, four inches. So the next thing I'm going to do now, from the under bust line, I'll come down by one inch and then from the the, the hip uh, line part i'll just take half an inch to this side i'll take half an inch to this side and then take half an inch to this side so i'm just going to be doing my regular that so from this point i'm just going to be coming like this and then so you do the same thing to so the first side do to the other side and do to the other side so this is um for your regular uh waist and um, that so for the sleeve 
So all you have to do is just is to take your, your fabric this way, you can see the way it is, and then you just slant it to one side, just like um like a like a triangle. So you just slant it so you could see it slanted out. So and then you fold. So with after doing this, you could decide to take your um then you measure out the length, sorry, and then you measure out the length for the length of this that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be making use of 28 inches. So I'm going to be starting my measurement from this point. I'm making use of 28 inches. You could measure. So I'm going to be starting my measurement from this point. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, you could decide to make use of your regular um, um sleeve um, pattern to cut it out. So, but I'm just going to be um sketching it out for you for the sake of um beginners. So for the, the for the cap's um, height, I'm going to be making use of 5 inches. So this is like my 5 inches. So I'm just going to be making a curve to meet at this point. So I'll just use my, my pattern curve like this. And then I'm just going to do this. So this is uh, like my ample uh, curve. So you just make sure you measure to make sure... It is complete so i have 10 inches which is okay because what i actually want is nine inches so the next thing like you could see the sleeve it's not like the sleeve is a, is fitted on any part of the body but you could still measure the bicep area so for the bicep area i'm just going to be making use of um i'll make use of seven inches so i'm just going to be slanting it from this point to this point which is like my seven inches point so the next thing from this seven inches point i'm just going to be tilting it to the down part of my sleeve so i'm just i'm going to be consuming my entire length so i'm just i'll use dotted lines for us to show you to make it easier for you to understand so i'm just going to do this so i'll cut it out first before I continue so this is what I have for my sleeve so the next thing I'll do now I'm going to open it up and then before I do my trimming so if you not note what I have I need these edges to be pointed out why I need this edge, this mid part to come in. So the depends on how deep you actually want it to come in. So you determine that by yourself. So for the sake of this illustration, I'm just going to be making use of um I'm making use of seven inches. I think seven inches is okay for the sake of this illustration. Seven inches is okay to do. So this is like my seven inch point. I'm going to be making a curve from this point. Now I'm just going to use dotted lines in order for you to understand. I'm just going to be doing this. Okay. So now I'm going to connect uh, my lines together. So you can see what I have now. I'm just going to take my scissors and then chop it out. For the tail end, for this tail end, if you want it to be bigger, you could decide to use two inch that I measured out. You could decide to use two inch, which is from this point to this point, and then you make your curve like this. As your curve comes like this, or you could decide to make use of one inch or one point five inch, which I think is better. So one one point five inch will just bring the curve down this point. So it makes the tail end a little bit bigger. So you can see the tail end is a little bit bigger. That's 1.5 inches from this point like this. So this is now what I'm going to be cutting out now. So you can see what I have. So you can see so at the end of the day this is now the sleeve so i'm just going to put it like this and then put it like this so you could see what i have so thank you so much guys i've come to the end of this uh, illustration this um bodycon 
floated shoulder um bodycon gown so i've come to the end if you like what i did with the video do not hesitate to hit on the subscribe button if you are new like my video comment if you are having any question and i will be fast to answer you so thank you so much guys